everybody. So, something I was told many years ago, the Earth has a conservative field. What that means is if I expend energy dragging this pebble up the hill, then I'd get exactly the same energy out if I just drop it. Of course, we use this principle all of the time. I mean, that's exactly what hydro energy is. We don't carry the rock, but it's the same principle, and it's the same principle in tidal energy. And this works because every time I move an object, I've actually transferred energy into it. And of course, I can get the energy back out by letting it go. And that's exactly what's happening. So, big question. How much is that? It turns out that the amount of work that I'm doing by lifting that up there is the amount of energy I'm transferring. And work done is the force I've just applied times the distance that I moved it. Okay, big whoop, but what force did I apply? Well, we can rely on good old Newton for that, and force equals mass times acceleration. So we've got the mass of the apple. Where does the acceleration come? Well, the acceleration on the Earth is the acceleration due to gravity. So if I let it go, that fall is acceleration due to gravity. Now, gravity on Earth is roughly 9.81 meters per second squared, and if we multiply that by the distance, we'll get the energy. You don't really need to worry too much about calculating it, because there's a ton of online calculators, and they give the result in joules. But handily enough, one joule is equal to one watt second, and a lot of these calculators, you just have a drop-down box, which will give you the answer in watt hours of the amount of energy that you've actually stored. And equally, the amount of energy you can get out with 100% conversion efficiency. And it can do this because one joule equals one watt second. Now that's all very interesting, or at least I find it interesting, but what's the point of it? Well, this idea of storing energy by raising and lowering weights is being taken very seriously, particularly in India, incidentally, without all that tedious mucking around with water and pumps. The the issue, of course, is the efficiency of it. Now, hydro storage is only about 50% efficient, but that raising and lowering of weights has potential to be very much more efficient. So what I thought I'd do is create a gravity storage system. To do that, we're going to use this, which is the hand pump generator we made in video 2046, and there's a link at the end of this video to that video. Now, we don't need all of it, we just need the heart of it, which is the generator section, which is this section here. I'm now using this spiral um, coil version, but you could use the motor coil version as happily. So I've used that, and I've taken the spiral coil, the thrust bearings, the magnet carrier, and that's the bits that I need, and they go back the same way that they go back in 2046, and that is just sit that in there. Now the other bit we need is this that we made in video 2042, and again there's a link at the end of this video for it, and these are the Archimedes spirals we made to emulate what LEGO had been doing. Now I made a medium version at 60 millimeters long, and I've printed 10 of those, because they will glue together to make a nice twist spiral that's actually quite long, and of course you can change that length as much as you want. The only other thing we really need is um, this section, and the ratchet section. This section is a rider. It's actually just a ring with four uh, indents in it that are big enough to take 12 millimeter ball bearings and they squeeze in there quite tightly and the ring will hold those in place. And that ring fits on the twist like that. And if I let that go, of course it drops. And as it drops, it will spin. Equally, if I hold that still and drop that, that will drop. But in that case, because this is still, that will spin. And what we're going to do is connect that to a new ratchet mechanism there and glue all of these together to make one long spiral. When you fix them all together, that's what you get. Now I just glued these with super glue because it's a prototype and there is the adapted ratchet mechanism which is gonna sit in there. So all we need to do with this is put on the ratchet teeth, attach this to here, and we're pretty much ready to go. So there's the ratchet teeth, we give that a spin, there we go, <laughs> works a treat. Now on here we need a stabilising weight, because this acts like a flywheel, and I've got a small uh, 1.25 kilogram barbell weight, which sits on there like that rather neatly, and I've put a little bit of super glue on there to hold that centred. There we go, and now if we give that a spin, it'll continue to spin. We're ready now to put that on. 
Okay, so to test this, I put four of them on because obviously we can make this as high as we like, but as it gets taller than the base that's supporting it, it's going to start to wobble. And so what we need are guide rails and the guide rails will help as it gets very much taller. And here's my weight and I've got the ring at the bottom there. And all we're actually going to do is put that on there and drop it. As it drops, it should spin this and we'll get a little bit of free well effect here. And of course, we've got it attached to a meter, so we'll get some generation out of it. But let's give it a go and see if it actually works just in this position here. OK, so keep your eye on that meter. <laughs> and of course, to recharge it, all we actually have to do is that. <laughs> okay, so I put another four on, and uh, given this setup, without any guide rails or any support at the top there, this does actually represent magic. So what I'm going to do is let it drop, but I'm going to keep my hands there just to stop it actually moving around too much, and we'll see if we get a voltage out of it. To get six seven volts out of that as a proof of concept i thought that was pretty awesome actually because remember at the beginning of the video we talked about what it was that um, influenced the energy storage and so the greater this distance the higher this is going to be the more we're going to be able to store the heavier this weight the more we're going to be able to store obviously i've lashed this together so it wobbled like a mad thing so we do need guide rails or maybe a top point here where there's a bearing holding that so it keeps it nice and rigid as it drops straight down and that's where i think it's going to get its efficiency advantage from. It drops straight down and transmits that motion directly into rotation at the bottom here where the generator lies. There's no other transmission system and so I think it's going to be reasonably efficient because of that. But I think it's a really interesting way of looking at um, energy storage through gravity by using this kind of twisted axle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.